Hey guys, Ben here from Corner Flat Games, and welcome to episode number six of the Hibernian Road to Glory career mode. So guys, we are going to play another four games in this episode, so we'll jump into the calendar now and have a look at what we've got. We've got Dundee away first up in the league. Kilmarnock, who are currently sitting in second at home in the league. And the final two games will be against Hamilton away in the league. And to finish off, we have St. Johnston at home in the league. Unsure which ones I'm going to play and which ones I'm going to simulate. But we will head into the transfer window as well. Not that we're going to do too much in the window, but we'll see how we fare. So guys, without further ado, we're going to jump straight in to this first game. Okay guys, so moving into today's first game of the episode and we are going to make this one a live sim game and we are facing off away against Dundee in the Scottish Premier League. So as you can see on the right hand side, we are running with our standard first 11 because this week comes, uh, this game comes a week before the next game as well. So we're 20 minutes in now. McLaren gets himself a yellow, but on the 26th, Musa gets a goal for Dundee. So we're just gonna hit skip on this one. And it is a 2-0 loss. Okay, guys, so moving into today's second game, we are at home to Kilmarnock, who are sitting second in the league. So, guys, without further ado, we're going to jump straight into this one. Alrighty, guys, so here it is in the first played game in today's episode, and it is the boys of Hibernian playing off against second place Kilmarnock. And here's the Hibernian lineup. It's Livakovic and Gola, back Laura, Bakayoko, Ambrose, Eolfsson, and Voyutsa. Two Aussie holding midfielders in Stephen Yugarkovic and Mark Milligan. And we have Rosalbo on the left, Horgan coming up through the middle, a slight change with Camberry playing out right, and Jamie McLaren up front as the striker. And here's the Kilmarnock lineup. It's McDonald in goal, a back four of Lovrencic, Broadfoot, Findlay, and Taylor. Five in the middle in Stewart, Power, Ebonari, Dicker, and Jones, and Boyd up front as the striker. And on that note, the boys of Hibernian are going to get us underway. So he's hoping that we can get the win in this game. I know I say that in just about at the start of every episode, but we have been lacking a little bit so far in the last couple of games. But we'll play for something as always. And as I say that, it's McLaren who flicks on a ball down to Kimberry. First time playing out on the right. It's a deep, deep cross. Goes for the spectacular, but... It will not happen in this verse as Ambrose cleans that one out. Comes inside to Voyitsa. Inside again to Horgan. Horgan, let's see what kind of magic he's got. It's Yugarkovic from range. Takes a time shot. And he gets the keeper off the line. And what a blistering goal. I'm pretty sure at any other game mode that the PC, that the computer would have that one all wrapped up. What? What just happened? What just happened? I, I, I can't, it's difficult to explain, but it, look, to be fair, Yugarkovic has done well. Horgan played it in through the middle. We took a time shot. It was very speculative, but the keeper was just so very late to react. I've got, that, that it doesn't even seem right. Nutmeg's the defender on the way through as well, just to make it a little bit more tidier. And the goal comes to Steven Yugarkovic for his fourth goal in the Scottish Premiership. And in saying that, Kilmarnock are going to get us kicked off again. So we've snatched an early one. I don't know how we've managed to get that one going, but by all rights, the uh, Kilmarnock goalkeeper, I, it just felt weird. Like, at the moment, everything's feeling a bit slow, but I don't, I just don't understand. Like, that, he should have had that. 150%. And Garkovic, the goal scorer at the moment. But sprays it out wide to Ken Berry. He's going to hold it here. Flicks that one on down the line. He's found Bakayoko. He's going to take a cross. We've got a man running through, but Broadfoot manages to put that one out for a corner. And he also manages to get a foot in on that one. Mark Milligan is going to spray that one out wide. He does. Takes a little bit of a bobble. It's Rosalvo now. Stops. Does a fake turn. He's running into some traffic here. It's Yugarkovic who's found more space once again. He's found it at the edge of the area. Takes a time shot. A little bit too much on it, and it goes flat out over the bar. Yolson tries to go out wide. It's gone to Rosalvo. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do us for the first 45 minutes. Now, this game has been an absolute weird one. 
I must say, coming out straight out the blocks, I wasn't expecting that goal to happen. Something just doesn't feel right. The players have been slow and sluggish, but we'll take it. And at the halftime break, it's Hibernian 1, Kilmarnock 0. And as the boys roll in for their Gatorade at the halftime break, hear how the statistics are looking. So for Hibernian, it's a one goal, three shots with one on target with a shooting accuracy of 33%. Two Kilmarnocks, zero goal, zero shots, zero shots on target. The shooting accuracy of a big fat duck. Possession has been heavily faded towards us with 65% to Kilmarnock's 35%. And the passing accuracy is all square at 83% per side. So what we're going to do is we're going to smash on into this second half. And Kilmarnock are going to get us off and running for the second half. Like I was saying earlier, this game does feel a little bit weird. Passes are going astray by both teams to be to be fair, but uh, they just feel a bit lacklustre. Uh, and as I say that, Kilmarnock are uh, coming forward with it. It's Boyd. Milligan manages to take that one out. Resolvo with a heavy, very heavy touch. I don't know why balls seem to be touched very heavy, but can very lays on Bakayoko in and around down this line. They've got a keeper out. We're going to take an extra step. He's going to dump that one in. Taylor manages to flick that one back. <laughs> And we do not reach it for the header. Vujica into Resolvo. Dumps in across. Do we get a head on it? No, we don't. Milligan tries to play that one through. It's McLaren. Milligan. No. What is going on? It just feels really weird. Yagarkovic plays one through to Milligan. Milligan takes one. It's a worm burner. But it's safe in McDonald's hands. Corner now for Kilmarnock. Here's one that's going to be rather difficult for us to defend. If the game is playing the way that it is at the moment. And there it is. What did I say before we took the corner? It was going to happen eventually. They get themselves a corner. We managed to get the initial shot away. It's not cleared far enough. And they just head it back into an empty net. So we've come out. We've taken it. See, so yeah, oh, it just feels really, really weird in this game today. The players won't settle. Passes are going astray left, right, and center. It just seems like the power bar is really off. And it's not giving me animations for when he scores either. So the goal comes to a Kilmarnock player for his however manyth goal. Um, something just definitely isn't right about this game today. Milligan through the defensive midfield. Played that one a little bit too far forward than I wanted. It's McLaren. He's flipped one over the top to Florian Kemberry. Takes a fake shot at the edge of the box. Takes a decent cross, but it doesn't find a right head. It's fallen in the box to Resolvo, though. Resolvo's going to lay this one up to Yagarkovic again, who's going to take the exact same shot as he did in the first half. Unfortunately, that one does not go in. Headers that one back to Eolfsson for a bit of safety there. He's going to play in through again to Milligan. Plays in another decent ball. It's Horgan. Can he get another one? He was rocketed the post. And unfortunately, that one hits the crossbar and comes back. We couldn't get the follow-up on it decent enough. But we will keep plugging on through. So we managed to win that one in a dangerous area. It's Kemberry once more. Tries to lay in Eolfsson, but the gap was just a little bit too tight. Our, wing, our wingers, wingers, our left back and right back seem to be playing quite far forward. Here it is, 91st minute with 92. They're going to dump it across and get in another goal. Yep, as I'd always thought. And there it is. I called it. I called it. What is wrong? This game just feels... Something does not feel right today. I'll, I'll admit that. Something does not feel right. They get it on down the edge of the area. They flip in a ball. The first guy leaves it. And there's a second one. Where was our left back? Nowhere to be seen. I tried to defend that one and... And cover all the bases as best I could. But at the end of the day, you just know that the AI is going to sting you like that. And the goal comes to Chris Burt for his third goal in the Scottish Premiership. Uh, we'll kick off for what remains of this 90 minutes. I don't. We're not going to get anything out of this one. But who knows? Maybe in the next one. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 90 minutes absolutely complete. You'll see by all the stats that we completely and absolutely dominated this game. But we get smacked on by the AI with about 10 seconds left of time to play. And uh, we walk away with two big fat ducks so far in this episode.
And at the end of 90 minutes, it's Hibernian 1, Kilmarnock 2. So, guys, here are the match facts at the end of the 90 minutes. So, for Hibernian, it is one goal, eight shots with four on target with a shooting accuracy of 50%. To Kilmarnock's two goals, three shots, two on target with a shooting accuracy of 66%. Possession did fall in favour of us again, although not as much as what it had in the first half. You'll see that we did a lot of controlling in this game with 59%. To Kilmarnock's 41%. Tackles, 6 for us and 5 for Kilmarnock. And the passing accuracy, we held strong at 81%. And Kilmarnock at 75%. Okay, guys, so here we are for today's third game in the episode. And we are away to Hamilton in the league. Something different today, we are going to run our first ever backup brigade for this game. So, guys, without further ado, we're going to jump straight into this game. Okay, guys, so here we are in today's third game. And it's shaping up to be a good one. And it is Hamilton hosting Hibernian. Here's the Hamilton lineup. It's Woods in goal. A back five of McGowan, Goich, Chen Hao, Kilgallen, and Soa. Three in the midfield in Tiwao, Sinek, and Tashembi. And two up front in Keatings and Brewstad. And here is the Hibernian lineup. It's Livakovic in goal, a back four of Whitaker, McGregor, Hanlon, and Mendiseka. Slivka and Malin make up our defensive midfield. Boyle on the right, Stevenson on the left, Hindman coming through the middle, and Vargas makes his first start up top. In saying that, Hamilton are going to get us underway in this game. He's hoping that, unlike the last one, passes will actually stick and things will ha actually happen at a decent rate in this game. But we will soon see. As we say, that's Shembe on the ball, getting into the box. Whitaker with a decent block there. Muscling his man, trying to get the ball off Sinek to Shembe. They're taking a shot. It's Soa. Tries to lob it past, but Livakovic has comfortably collected that one. Mendy Secker, he's got space running down this line here. He's going to cut this one inside to Vargas, the striker, coming deep to get the ball. Slipka playing on a through ball to Hinman. Hinman tries to spray that one out wide, but unfortunately doesn't get the timing right. Plays that one across to Mallon. Mallon goes out wide into Stevenson, waiting for somebody to make a run here. Coming inside, it's Hinman. Hinman goes into the middle to Slivka. Slivka has found a bit of space. He's going to get rid of it, though. Hinman manages to hold on to that one. He's giving this one out to Mallon, and Mallon's going to have one from range. Time shot did come off. But unfortunately, you have to go out wide into Whitaker. Whitaker, can he keep his man off? He does. He's gonna dump it across. Vargas looked like he was offside, and he is. Slivka picks up that ball. It's Boyle now. Goes into Mallon. Mallon's got some space running out wide here. We're not backing off though. Mendy Seca plays that one straight through to Slivka. Slivka tries to flick that one through for himself. He does it. Takes a time shot, but that's a beautiful save by Woods, the keeper for Hamilton. McGowan puts that one down the line for Sinek. Sinek plays that one on straight away to Prasad. Prasad straight away gets in a ball. It's fallen to Soa. Soa's hit the post. And the secondary shot has gone wide. We get off lucky there. Oh, why did I get the sinking feeling in my pits that something was going to happen there? They're playing their wing backs up very high at the moment. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do us for the first 45 minutes. So it's been contested. We've sort of sat back trying to keep possession on that ball as best we can due to the fact that I feel that the game is running us around in a bit of circle. So at the halftime break, as the lads roll in, it is Hamilton nil, Hibernian nil. And here are the matchbacks at the halftime break. So for Hamilton, it is zero goals, four shots, none on target with a shooting accuracy of 0% to Hibernians. Zero goals, four shots, four on target with a shooting accuracy of 100%. Possession, heavily favoured towards us with 60% to Hamilton's 40%. One tackle for us, two for Hamilton, and the passing accuracy, 79% to Hamilton and 86% to Hibernian. So guys, without further ado, let's see if we can push on forward and grab a goal and snatch the three points. So Vargas is going to kick us off for the second half here. Uh, it's been a tidy first half. We've made some progression, but nothing too much to boast about just yet. Yeah, it was a relatively even sort of possession, 
not so much an even sort of possession half, but we had our chances. As I say that, Whitaker's got one at the edge of the box, but it's easily taken away by Soa. We get that one right the way across to Whitaker now. Comes inside, it's Boyle now. Boyle manages to wriggle free and find a bit of space. He turns that one back. Keeper, unfortunately, we were hoping he was gonna spill it there. And as we say that, Hamilton come on the bloody counter. Hindman wins that one back. Gives it through to Boyle. Boyle, you've got legs here, mate. Stops. He's gonna have to stop for that one. He's gone through to Hindman again. Played that one through to Vargas. Ta touch is good. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We've managed to do it. Knocking on the door right near the death. It's 82 minutes. And it is Vargas for what I would assume to be his first goal for the season unless he scored one in simulation. Here, the through ball, he did knock that one on a little bit heavy with his first touch and it was a yellow barred timed shot. But he's managed to just keep that one down on his left peg, done the keeper, made him go late, and that one's hit the back of the net. And the goal comes to Rodrigo Vargas for his first goal in the Scottish Premiership. And the boys from Hamilton are going to kick us off for what remains of this second half. And those two minutes of injury time have now blown out to 94. You dare say this is going to be the last section of play here. And yep, I would be correct. And there it is, ladies and gents. At the last 10 minutes, the backup brigade managed to pinch the three points. Playing a little bit better at the moment than our first team, if I'm brutally honest. Mind you, there is still issues there that we do need to iron out. But we've come here, crack one at the death. Rodrigo Vargas with his first goal for the club. He's done well, the youngster. And at the end of 90 minutes, it's Hamilton nil, Hibernian 1. So guys, here are the match facts at the end of 90 minutes. So for Hamilton, it's zero goals, six shots, two on target with a shooting accuracy of 33%. Two Hibernians, one goal, nine shots, nine on target with a shooting accuracy of 100%. Hamilton did come back in their passing accuracy, raising it up to an 81, with Hibernian finishing with an 86% passing accuracy. But the possession stat is where it's all happening. 61% to Hibernian and 39% to Hamilton. As you can tell, we're trying to hold the ball and settle on it to make sure that we uh, get those passes nice and accurate. And in the end, it did us in trumps, but it just couldn't push forward with that ball. Tackles was six apiece to each side. Alrighty guys, there is one more game left in today's episode and it comes two days off the back of our clash with Hamilton and we are at home to St. Johnston in the league. So what we are going to do is we are going to simulate this match. You will see on the left hand side that we do have our first team all back in action for this game. So we're just going to hit triangle. We've already scored in the second minute, which is a good sign and we've done well. We have taken out St. Johnston 4-1. A hat-trick to Resolvo, but also as well, a penalty given to Milligan in the 27th, to which he scored, and another one to which he missed in the 66th minute. It could have been an absolute blowout at 5-1. Alrighty, guys, so that about wraps it up for today's episode. So in our next episode, there will be another four games, as always, and we will be facing off the first one against Rangers in the league. So that is going to be a fantastic one. So make sure you are back for that one. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Be sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed it and leave your comments and feedback below. Don't forget to smack that subscribe button if you haven't already and tick the little notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. For all those that don't know, please jump on and join in the fun and the banter at the official Corner Flag Games Discord server. Links will be down below and on screen as well. Also, I am starting to get my streaming game back on track again. So we have our Twitch and we have our live streams on YouTube. I'll be doing a couple more of those relatively soon. So be sure you are subscribed and followed on both of those platforms so you get the notifications when I go live. And I'll be back with the next episode of the Hibernian Road to Glory career mode soon. Oh yeah, everybody now.